All right, everybody, it's time. It's time for season seven of Fear the Walking Dead. Folks, if you've been keeping up with me with my Walking Dead reviews, then you know I've been saying it was going to get a really busy month uh, in October with Fear returning and with World Beyond turning, returning. And now that uh, uh, Walking Dead is now on their break. I'm, we won't call it a mid-season break because this is an extended episode, but it's on their break. That doesn't mean that the Walking Dead content has stopped. That brings us into episode one of season seven, The Beacon. And this was a crazy episode, folks. There's so much to talk about in this episode, but I do want to say that if this is your first time checking me out, please know that there's no spoilers here. This is enough to just get you hyper prepared for things you can expect in this episode. And this episode, um, The Beacon, uh, will be premiering October 17th on AMC. Now, folks, there's so much to cover in this episode. Um, and... The one thing I have to say over and over again when it comes down to these episodes, these reviews, especially with fear. Folks, when are we going to stop trusting Shran? When are we going to stop? When are people going to understand that you do not trust Shran <laughs> at all? You don't trust this guy. Let me tell you what this, uh, the synopsis of this episode, then we're going to get into it. While most of the landscape has been destroyed by nuclear warheads, Shran thrives in one of the few inhabitable places left. He searches for survivors, uncovers a stranger with an unexpected connection to Strand's past. So, Strand, this episode picks up where we last saw Strand at. And it's been about two months since the conclusion of season six. And Strand is in the, that, that building he was in, living his best life. He has it all. As he says, he has no reason to be anywhere else because he has it all there. But... At the same time, too, we know Strand still has one major connection that lures him or that will eventually lure him outside of the building. And that's Alicia, you know. So, you know, that's, as he says, is his only family left. So while Strand has it all in one place, and I mean, he really has his, he has a community, folks. Like, it ain't what you think it is, but it's just him and a guy. Like, he has this place set up. And the whole entire time, Tran is, like, talking like a conqueror. Like, how he projects and how he just talks about all of the possessions he has. Like, this dude is just out of his mind. But, you know, he just can't be trusted. But the new character that he meets, Will, um, Will and Tran, you know, as Tran does, like, this, um, this, this whole process of determining if anybody, who he's going to allow to be in his community and whatnot... You know, the two of them, as they said, they got a connection here. And the two of them, the believe it or not, like, the two of them have a really interesting connection and dynamic this entire episode. And at the very, very, bare minimum of this, you just can't trust Shran, folks. You just can't. Just no matter what. But, yeah, uh, Will's a survivor. He's a survivor. We don't know anything about him beyond that. Uh, we do get to learn stuff about him. When I say we don't know anything about him, like, he's not from anything else um we've never seen him before but we will learn about him in this episode uh as i said he stated that he's been out there for at least 50 days so that's when i do the calculation i say well it had to have been at least two months since you know the bombs went off but he says he's been out since 50 days and he's surviving and you know he ended up uh coming across strand and then strand decides to interview and decide if he's going to allow him to stay in his community and then that's when they start to talk and they talk and they realize like, oh, we got a little bit of connection going on here. So we'll see how that plays out. But as I said, you just can't trust Strand, folks. Now, with this episode, there was a, a few things that I liked about it in regards to the production. Uh, one, there's this night fog scene with the walkers. That is pretty cool. It's not like one of the best scenes I've seen, but it's definitely one of the best scenes of this episode. Um, the walkers that have either been you know, uh, it's got, uh, you know, exploded on by the bomb or the radiation from the bomb. All of the Walker designs is really cool, really good. And I mean, you know, time and time again, we always see different designs of the Walker. So I'm always continuing to be impressed by what they do next. So you got these radioactive ones that are pretty cool. And then you got these ones that are clearly been set on fire because of the explosion. And they look pretty cool as well, too. Um, and then there is um, 
the, the the final shot of this episode is just kind of mind blowing. It's really good. Like, I, I I don't even know what to say. It's just really good. I'll just leave it at that. But uh, with with, with Tran, it's just that like he's one of the wildest dudes ever. Like, it don't matter how righteous he may sound, how comforting he may be, how noble you may think he is. He's just a wild dude that he just, to me, he doesn't never surprise. Like, I always know not to trust this guy. But then he just continues to push the limit on things that I'm like, there's no way he would do this. And of course he does. He always goes and does the most wildest things. But Coleman Domingo is literally one of my favorite actors. Uh, and I would be... I, I don't even know how I would be if we ever didn't have Tran. Like, but the character, ooh, he stresses me out so, 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 so much. Um, but overall, this was a good episode. Um, it's not a super strong episode for a, uh, you know, a season premiere, but it's good. Is it, again, a lot of the focus was Tran, what Tran been up to, his community, uh, this new character Will. Uh, we don't know what's up with anybody else as of yet, but maybe we will in the next episode. And, of course, I'll be around to review episode two. So after you're done checking this review, I'll totally come by and step over to my review of episode two of season seven of Fear the Walking Dead. Folks, let me know your thoughts, your predictions, your reactions to this episode. What are you expecting this season? Things are going to get crazy ever since those nuclear warhead went off. Things are pretty radioactive, you know? It's not the same walking around and just breathing that same crisp air. Which I will say, this episode, they did explain how people are able to survive and function and where communities could be at and all that other stuff. So it ain't just not making sense. They did explain to you why things are the way they are now. Because, you know, for me... I thought, like, well, if it's radioactive, then like, psh, you can't go in this area forever. They're going to be wearing masks for the whole season. But, no, they explained it, uh, which I'm glad because I definitely couldn't go a whole season of just seeing everybody wearing these masks. So, um, it just wouldn't be fun for television purposes. But they explained it, and you will find out as well, too. But, yeah, folks, jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this one. I'll see you round four, episode two of Fear the Walking Dead.